Welcome back. It is time to paint. I am going to be using my Wagner Control Pro 130. I used this before to paint my garage. I'll put a link up here in the top corner so that you can actually uh, go back and look at how to set that up and start to use it. Um, I got a bunch of comments on my previous video about uh, me actually not showing the, the how I actually used it to paint. So I will actually film some of me using the Wagner Control Pro to paint today. I am actually not painting the walls, but I am painting all of the ceilings. I'm using this Valspar ceiling paint. I got four gallons of it. I'm hoping that I actually have enough to cover all the ceilings, but we'll see. I'm set up in here. This is the gym. And I will try and get this all painted. I'm gonna paint through here paint this ceiling area in the uh, where you come down the stairs paint the ceiling in the bathroom in there and then also paint all the ceilings in the main living area of the basement including that space back there all right let's get this thing set up and we'll get started here all right let's show you all the stuff that you're going to need so you actually have the control pro 130 an extension cord this is the sprayer cord that actually the paint comes through. Get yourself a cleanup bucket filled with some water, a small cup so that you can use it to prime. Obviously the paint that you're going to use. This is the Control Pro 130 gun. I actually have a, um, I think this is a 15 inch extension so that I can paint the ceiling without having to hold my head, hold my hand directly above my head. This opens paint cans and a respirator, which is very important for not breathing all the paint fumes in because this thing sprays quite a bit. All right, let's go. All right, I got the system primed. Get all your stuff connected up. Get your spray hoses and everything tightened down. I'm going to, in order to prime this thing, you pour a little bit of water in. Push this twice. Make sure this is on recirculate. Turn this on. Have the water run through this little tube back into this. Let that run until all the water flushes through. Then turn it off, take the tube, put it into a disposal bucket, turn it back on, pump all the water out into here. Then you fill this up with paint and then you're gonna actually prime this so that the paint will then go into this disposal bucket again. Then you're gonna prime it out of that pump so make sure there's no water coming out of the sprayer. Then you're ready to start painting. Make sure you have a towel ready to go. the spray side like that and then you're going to prime it again and you're going to hold the nozzle in this bucket so that it drains okay just going to spray it like that till you see a step, till you see a steady stream of paint come out and there's no more water coming out then you put your tip back on and you're ready to start paint then you're ready to start painting
attention to what you're doing because the primer is white and the ceiling paint is also white, so you have to really focus to see where you're overlapping. But, working well. So as you can see, come back over here, you can see it's got pretty good coverage. You bring the light back through and take a look and see what you got. That looks pretty good. So anyway, I'll carry on. We'll get the rest of the ceiling painted up and I'll show you when I'm all done. I look like a raccoon with my face covered in all this dust. <sighs> so, everything has one coat on it, except for in here, in the bathroom, this hallway, and in the gym. It now has two coats on it. I'm gonna have to go and buy more paint. I ran out of paint, so I'm gonna have to, so I'm gonna have to go back to the store and get some more paint and finish it up. Looks like I'm probably going to need three, maybe four more gallons. And uh, yeah. Anyway, a couple of tips that I wanted to point out for this. Number one, have, have more paint than you think you need and you can always, you can always return it as long as it's not tinted. Um, the other thing I wanted to point out is as you're spraying and you're overlapping, if you're painting white ceilings on top of a white primer, it is very difficult to actually see what you're overlapping. So try and point it, try and put a light in a corner that shines up. So that way you can see a little bit where the wet paint is being laid down. Um, one other thing, um, if the tip clogs, turn the tip around and then spray real quick through it. It should push whatever clog out the tip um, and then spin it back around and, and wipe it down and that should work as well. This thing made quick work. I mean, I sprayed through six gallons of ceiling paint here in probably maybe about an hour, maybe not even that. Um, but time to clean this thing up and um, I'll go get some more paint tomorrow and we'll finish up. Well, here's the final result. All the ceilings are painted. I love how this camera hunts to try and actually focus. It's probably because everything's white down here, but 
Ceilings are now painted. Two coats of paint. I probably didn't need to actually put two coats of paint on there because it actually did a really good job covering. But there's a couple of spots where it was just a little thinner than others, so I just decided to go ahead and put two coats on. But this is what it looks like. Everything looks good. This room is actually the room that's closest to being finished. In here, I actually did a little test area where I painted the trim. And I'll show you that here in a second because I think I got the trim color picked out for me anyway. But I was not happy with the way that the caulking looked. The, uh, the contractor that actually put the trim up and caulked it, they put such a thin coat of caulking and it was actually cracking in a lot of the areas already. Um, so I spent another probably three or four hours really literally recalking every piece of trim, all the baseboard trim, all the crown molding, and there's crown molding in the entire you know basement guy here. So I went back around and had to redo all the crown molding. Down here, redid all the baseboard trims, and just it was a lot of extra work. I actually didn't film any of that because I was kind of ticked off about it and. I didn't really feel like setting up the camera, so I just plowed through it and got finished. Um, but the painting on the ceiling and everything looks really good. Here is the door. And the trim that I, or the trim paint that I decided to go with, I need to, I got a little bit of slop here. I got a little sloppy. I'll have to clean that up. But I decided to pick a, um, you can see the sheen on it a little bit, which is good. This is actually a satin paint, not a semi-gloss or even a full gloss, because I thought that would be too glossy. And this is just, you can see the sheen there a little bit better on that picture. But yeah, this is a, um, a satin paint from Sherwin-Williams. I'm actually pretty pleased with how that looks. So that is the paint I'm actually gonna get. This is the only door frame that I actually painted and it took forever because I painted it by hand. That sucks. So I will be buying more. This is actually the, this is the trim paint that I bought showcase from Sherwin Williams. So what's next is painting all the trim. And then after I paint the trim, I am going to get wall paint for the gym. Um, I've got, I've decided to go with a two-tone in there. There's going to be a light gray and then one accent wall is going to have like a charcoal gray. And then I'm going to put a couple of mirrors up in the gym area. I'm going to order the flooring, which is a half inch rubber mat. I'll install that down. Then the last bit that I need to do is actually just put in the electrical outlets and the switch and the recess lights. And then that room is ready to go. I can actually start using that room. The rest of the basement, we're still waiting to the cabinets. Are, I ordered the cabinets about a week ago, so those will probably take another two weeks to come in. We need to pick flooring in here. We need to pick paint colors in here, and then paint, and then bathroom needs tile, paint. We did order the vanity in the bathroom, so we're waiting for that to come in. We'll need a sink, a couple other things, and then we'll start being able to use the basement down here. So. Not too much longer, but things have definitely slowed down. Anyway, progress is being made still slowly but surely. So anyway, thanks for watching this one. Um, definitely pick yourself up a sprayer. Um, the Wagner works well. You can also, I think Grayco makes a bunch of good ones. I would highly recommend pick it up a sprayer because it makes painting the ceilings a breeze instead of having to like use a roller up over your head all day. Man. Fantastic. Sprayers are the way to go. It just does create a lot of, of mess. So make sure you have everything, either, either you're doing new construction like this where there's not a lot down here or you have everything taped off and covered. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you around the next one.